Heino Pust of the Soviet Union, just uh, getting himself ready to perform in the second round of the competition. He's leading with 86 metres and 90, 285 feet one. And uh, in second place, Dennis Kula, the Olympic champion. So they've come very much in their strength, the Russians, to this event. And as the ladies proved earlier on today, the wind is absolutely right. It's maintained, it's, well, it's blustery, but generally into the faces of the throwers. And therefore, the lift to these aerodynamic javelins really providing some uh, spectacular performances. And 90 metres is certainly possible uh, in these sort of conditions and with this sort of crowd following the throwers along. And that's a big throw. It's a long, long throw. That's way, way over. And that's very close to 90 metres, I would think. The white flag raised this end. The point made contact that end. And so I would think that that uh, lead is increased. The silver medalist from the European Championships in Athens last year with a distance of 89 metres and 56, close to 300 feet. So he's experienced. He was fourth in the Moscow Olympics, incidentally. So the mechanical engineer has been a senior international since 1979, has performed... Uh, well on the day. The scoreboard uh, still awaits the attention of the numbers. And uh, the officials using the new prismatic trigonometrical measuring device. Uh, all 88 metres and what a good uh, throw that was. Close as we thought to 90 metres. 88, 28 and that uh, converts to 289 feet 7 and that's the, uh, the best throw of the day. And the lead, he extends his lead by yet another two meters. The Heino Pust, the Soviet Union. Leader, Pust. Third round, leading with 88 meters and 28, 289 feet seven, just to remind you, using the whole width of the track, plus a bit, to uh, increase the length of his approach. And that, uh, another very fine throw, and that javelin is floating out again, way, way out towards 90 meters. The white flag raised at both ends, and it's a very consistent piece of throwing. Just to remind you again, 86 metres 90 in the first round, 88 metres and 28 in the second. And you can see the instrument being placed into the ground there, leading his colleague, the Olympic champion, Kula. Peter Yates in third place at the moment. He's doing very well. And uh, with this wind, Yates certainly could threaten the British record. He's still got four throws left. But uh, Proust, who's got a personal best of 90 metres and 72, very capable in these conditions of repeating it's a 90 meter throw well there it is it was expected 90 meters and 50 centimeters 296 feet 11 so close to 100 feet mar uh, 300 feet a marvelous performance by this uh, 27 year old russian peter yates on the runway a more confident and consistent peter yates and that's going well that's going on and on, it's over 80. It looks to be near 84 metres. 80, if it is 84 metres, then it's a very fine piece of throwing. The scoreboard now showing 84 metres and 90 centimetres. And Yates, who has the, carries the javelin high, then moves ahead of the throwing hand, looks to put the leading leg down, and then work against it and through it. 84 metres and 90 then for Peter Yates, firmly entrenched in third place, 278 feet 6, and the Britain so close to the British record now. The Olympic champion, fourth round, still in second place and looking for the big throw, and that's lofted its way out towards 90 metres, and that is going to challenge the lead. 85-86 his first throw, and then he had a couple of no throws, and uh, the big Russian... 24 years old, may well be challenging his teammate, Heino Pust. Pust at 90 metres 50, and once again the trigonometrical device there to uh, give that overall distance. Very tall athlete, very linear, simple technique, penultimate stride enables him to get a very wide throwing base, tremendous stress on the lower region of the back, but just allowing enough space to stop before that foul line. And uh, the end result, a very long throw indeed. I would be a bit surprised to see uh, something near 90 metres go up. The nine is up. It's the lead. It's a 91 metre throw. 91 metres and 88 centimetres. 301 feet 5. And this is the day for javelin throwers, Ron.
<laughs> it is indeed. Tessa Sansa watching that from our commentary point, asking if we can show her pictures of her magnificent javelin throw. Pusht coming back, and another tremendously long throw. White flags out, they're peppering that 90 meter line now. What a pair to have in your lineup. Two 90 meter throwers, 90 meter and 14 centimeters, becoming becoming one of the one of the greatest javelin competitions we've ever seen in Great Britain. Consistent 90 meter throwing, exceptionally rare. Still in progress, and uh, I was talking to. Uh, Stan Greenberg there in the lull and uh, he says that he thinks this is the first competition in the United Kingdom where two men have been over 90 metres and so that's the measure of uh, such a competition. 90 metres 50 and 90 metres 14 for Poost in the previous two rounds but he's still in second place with that behind that uh, cooler throw of 91 metres and 88. So Stan Greenberg, our statistician, is checking his records because there are one or two being broken here at the Alexander Stadium this afternoon. And that's a good throw and that's a long, long throw. It's a huge throw. That surely the best throw of the day. 91 metres and 88 he's chasing. Well, the crowd began to respond to the javelin as it uh, made its way through the air because it certainly didn't look as though it was coming down at one stage marvelous and uh, pushed six only six feet too tall but very powerfully built he uses a long approach and look at the way in which he moves ahead of that javelin hand prepares to unleash that very fast arm and i'm sure that we've uh, got a very fine throw here the Russian record 93 meters and 80 to Yanis Lusis set in 1972 now I wonder how close we are to that sort of performance 90 has gone up 94 meters well 94 meters and 12 centimeters 308 feet 9 and I don't have to tell you that that has retaken the lead a new Russian record, and what a record to take, Ron. Yanis Luce is the greatest of them all. The try to the world record. What I'm looking forward to, Stuart, is these two fellas throwing against Petronov in the inaugural World Championships in Finland, the home of javelin throwing, where the home crowd, which will be absolutely packed to capacity, know exactly what's happening. The moment the javelin leaves the hand, they'll be roaring that javelin on and on and on.